Hi, it's Mom the Frat here. Um, a lot of people can't buy organic all the time, whether it's not available or it's not affordable. Um, there are multiple reasons why you want to pick and choose which organic fruits and vegetables you want to participate in or which ones you want to invest in. Um, there are probably, I think it's 50 fruits and vegetables that um, are tested every year. Um, the Environmental Working Group, EWG.org, I believe it is, puts out a dirty dozen and a clean 15. Um, and it shows you the list of the top 12 or 13 most pesticide-filled, contaminated fruits and vegetables. So obviously those are the ones that you should not eat consistently um, unless you are purchasing them organic. I mean, it's a toss-up. Do you want the pesticides? <laughs> In the vegetables, I mean, there's no necessarily winning ratio unless you can buy organic all the time. Um, clearly stay away from the Dirty Dozen. Um, they're adding pears now to the list. Um, the reason I know this is my husband. I check this list frequently and my husband loves pears. And all of a sudden, and he used to not always buy organic pears. Um, he's one of those that believes that it makes a difference because he saw the difference in when he was doing an Ironman without organic fruits and vegetables versus organic fruits, vegetables, eggs, etc., And uh, his last Ironman that he did, he knocked off, I thought it was 45 minutes. He said it was actually an hour and 15 minutes, which is unheard of at his age. So it's unheard of in general. You don't make that kind of progress one year to the next, but he did, um, especially not when you are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? When you are, when you've done it so many times before, if this has been his first versus his second, you know, maybe you could see that kind of difference. But when you've done it you know, 13 years in a row. So um, at any rate, um, nutritional, nutritionally dense food makes a huge difference in your diet. And you and you and you really need to consider which fruits and vegetables, if you can't do them all, all the time, which fruits and vegetables you want to put on your plate that are not organic. And the way you do that is by going to ewg.org and downloading the Dirty Dozen, or you can go to the Ask Mama Frat website and look at it there. Um, but you need to download that list so that, or commit it to memory, it's 12 things. Um, so that you know which fruits and vegetables that you consistently buy organic. Got it? Got it? Good.